Hello everyone, it's your options guy. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about Apple and we're gonna go over the option flow with what happened last week. We're gonna go over how many calls were purchased and, and compare that to how many puts were purchased. And then we're also gonna do a quick a technical analysis just to kind of see like the trend of of Apple and, and just see what, what what's happening and then kind of what to expect of either next week and what's coming within the next couple of weeks or months heading into earnings and everything. So let's get into it. But first, uh, I want to emphasize that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you guys this data. Um, you can use this data however you want. Um, it could be good indicators or bad indicators for you. Either way, um, this is just for entertainment purposes. So, all right, so let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, um, I have it for the lap last week basically viewing um basically essentially what happened last week so this is the bullish flow that came in and apple was in the number two spot right underneath tesla so it had uh, around 101.2 million premium orders um come through so these are all the um the calls being purchased now let's take a quick look at the bearish flow so on the bearish flow it had around 54.1 million um puts being purchased so that, that's the bearish flow so as you can see the the bullish flow was a lot higher than the bearish flow so if we take a quick look into apple and then kind of try to digest this data a little bit more so on friday this is basically like the latest orders that came in so i think the let's let's actually take a quick look so one of the big orders that came in was at um right here um almost like probably like one yeah like around one hour before closing so this where did it go right here actually there was two big orders so the first one was for um 120 120 strike for 521 and and i've been seeing a lot of 521s coming in so anyways um this was kind of like right in the money as you can see like they purchased it at the 120.75 so yeah it's huge like over half a million order block order coming in and then another like more than half a million order coming in for the 617 but this is for uh you know next year but anyways um another huge order that came in was 916 for next year so there's some people doing like leaps and stuff but anyways um let's let's break this down into the the biggest orders that came in all right so it will filter filter down by premium orders as you can see here the, the one of the biggest ones is for 618 for 140 strikes so this one is way out of the money um and they bought it when it was at 119 so this one's way out of the money and so these are pretty big bets for um for being out of the money and for apple so as you can see there's another one here for 140 140 strike and they bought it at 118 and another 1.9 million so both of these were bought on March 5th, so they probably bought it like at the really bottom end of the dip, so that's good. And um, there's some that are there for next year. And let's try to break this down a little bit more. Yeah, so what do we have here? We have more 618, 618s, and there are 140, 140. And these are big orders too. So yeah, 618s are kind of popular. Let's take a quick look at the 521s. Yeah, here's one 521 for 125, another big order. So yeah, we're just basically trying to digest of like what's happening. So big orders coming in. 521s are actually let's break 521s down a little bit more. So we scroll all the way down. Actually, let's do it this way. I think it'll be easier if I do it this way. All right, so let's scroll down to see the 521 action more. All right, here's the 521. So as you can see, these are more out of the money. So there's 140s, 135s. There's a 121. So the ones that are more out of the money are not that big big of orders compared to this big one right here. So this one is like right in the money. This is the 560. So this is the one that we saw on Friday. And this one is kind of a, a big order at 135. So out of the money, out of the money, 135 as well. Another 130 out of the money. 150. This one's like way out of the money. And yeah, that's a big order too. So another out of the money. 140s. So if you if you were to break this down um most of these are at 125 or above so definitely more out of the money so a lot of money coming in basically saying that they they expect you know apple to be um you know well above 125 by by may 21st and then 
I believe Apple, like they have their earnings on April. So, and you never know. So with Apple, they, they have a lot of news and there's more news coming out with like the, like I think potential partnership or something with um, probably like Hyundai or something, you know, stuff to do with the, um, with the Apple car and everything. So, so anyways, just uh, this is the data that I'm sharing with you guys and we're doing an analysis on it. And now let's switch over to the technical analysis part of it, just to see what's happening. So this is my technical analysis view. So this yellow line right here is kind of like the, I call it like the, the strong trend uh, support line. So as you can see, when it, it hit down here, it actually bounced off like it was a pretty good bounce. So overall, this we're, we're seeing a falling wedge type of deal right here. So if you want to know what the wedges are, so falling wedge, it looks very similar like this. And the idea is as you get closer and closer to the some um, lines um, touching each other, there should be like a bounce off. So I think we're getting close to that falling wedge. So we'll see what happens next week. Next week, we could probably fall back down here to this yellow support line. We might hit this yellow support line and then bounce off from there. Or if next week, if we break out of this wedge, um, I feel like we might actually start doing like the rising wedge type of deal, which is this, this type of deal, right? So after the bounce off. So anyways, um, as you can see here, this, this big red line, this is kind of, this is indicating the, um, like the main volume line that was over here in this area. But let's take a look at the, the one one chart. So in the one one chart, we're, we're actually really, we're right underneath that, that volume line within the one one chart. So within this one one chart, the highest volume is around that 121 price. So that's where you get like the most volume. So as you can see here in the 121, it hit the dip and then it broke out up here. And then here it hit the 121 and it broke down here, touched the 121 again, broke down, touched it again, broke down. This time we actually went a little bit over it, but now we went back down. So we're gonna see what happens um, come tomorrow. We're gonna touch this volume line again, or we're gonna start descending down, back down, uh, further down to this um, this wedge. But we'll see, or um, we'll see if we actually get a breakout. Anyways, let me um, get out of here, and then let's take a look at the let's take a look at the three months. Three months, actually. Let's look at the one month. So here's the RSI. So for those of you that don't know, the RSI basically uh, signals um, like if, so if something's kind of like over oversold or overbought. Basically, if as you get closer to the to the seventy, that's usually a good indicator to like maybe sell because see as you get close to the seventy, then you start breaking away back down, and then as you get closer to the the twenty range or the thirty range, then you start coming back up. So. If, if you're down here close to the 30, it's probably a good entry point. Um, and if you're closer to the 70, it's probably like a good time to exit if you're doing options and stuff like that. So right now we're kind of like playing around with uh, around the 50. So there's, I think there's still wiggle room to go up, up towards the 70. But again, we'll see what happens um, if we're going to break out of that wedge or not. And if we take a look here into the MACD here, let me zoom in a little bit on the MACD. So as you can see the the macd the the blue line is right uh, right un underneath the, the signal line and it seems like we're about to cross over that that um that signal line which is the the orange line if if we are under and we're about to cross that's usually a good uh, bullish indicator so as you can see here like we were on the blue line was under and then it crossed that yellow um, orange line and then it started breaking up and forming a bullish type of trend and then right here it crossed again it touched that orange line and then went down causing like a bullish i mean bearish type of trend and then so on and so on so it seems like we're about to cross that again so it's it's looking like um in the short term we're gonna we're about to cross that line so we'll see what happens but anyways this is just my analysis um i know some of you might say this is like a very crappy analysis and or some of you might think this is really good analysis. I know, give or take. But let me know in the comments if what you guys think. Are you bearish or bullish? Um, long term, short term. I, I want to know what's happening. Um, definitely give me some feedback on my analysis. Let me know if um, if you're like a pro um, 
technical analysis type of person let me know if um if there's something else i should be looking into um other than these indicators i usually just like looking at the the wedge type of form and then looking at what's going on with the volume looking at the rsi and the macd i don't really want like a billion lines on this on this screen but either way just let me know and then that's it for today's video if you like this video um please give a like or hit the like button really appreciate it make sure to subscribe if you want to follow me and i'll be covering more um definitely more apple calls and and um or apple options in general doing more analysis in apple i also cover other stocks that are kind of like in my favorite list which is like palantir amd and and any other stocks that basically i'm playing at the moment <laughs> but anyways um yeah so if you like this video make sure you give a like make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks